Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all of the lead code problems, and I got a ton of them up on my YouTube, so if you want these explained, or if you have other problems you're struggling with, just go check those out. Probably got it in there by now. Um, so this one's called Keys and Rooms. There are N rooms, and you start in room zero. Each room has a distinct number, zero, one, two, uh, to N minus one, right? So uh, we're given... This is a cool problem, okay? So we're given a bunch of rooms. We're given a 2D list, right? So the input's going to look like this. And we're given uh, each, each sub list is going to be a room, and each room has keys, right? So room zero, the rooms are um, referenced by index. So this would be room zero, this list containing one. Room one would be a list containing two. And room three would be a list containing... Um, Sorry, room two would be a list containing three. So zero, one, two by index. And then these keys reference where the index of the room you can open, right? So in room zero, we can find a key to room one. So now we're able to open room one, which has a key to room two, which we can open room two now. And then we have a key to room three and we can open room three. So the goal is to find, loop through this, all these, um, rooms and keys and find out if we can visit every single room finding keys one room at a time right so yeah if you read that you can hopefully I did a okay job at explaining that if you read through it maybe you can understand it a little better uh, it's kind of the same thing that I just said but yeah it was it's a cool concept I like it for sure um, so here's the solution basically what we're gonna do is we're going to have a boolean array a visit called scene right um, so we could just li literally declare that right now so boolean um, scene will equal its, uh, new boolean of rooms dot size and it's going to be the same as rooms dot size so at the end this boolean array is going to start at all falses right but and it's going to be the same number of rooms there are and at the end we want all of them to be true because it means that we'll visit. So each time we visit a room, we're going to mark one of, one of these uh, spots in the, the current room's index in the Boolean array. We're going to change that false to a true. And at the end, we'll do this check. We could just write it right here. And see, we've always, the first room, we're automatically visited. So all rooms start locked except for room zero. So we get to visit the, so scene of zero, we're automatically marking true. So now it's just a true and a bunch of falses. So right at the end, we can just write this right now. We're basically going to do for Boolean uh, visited in scene. I'm just calling it visited. You can call it whatever you want. If not visited, so if we see a false at the end, we're just going to return false, and that would be the end of it. Otherwise, we're going to return true. Um, so that's kind of the basics behind the problem right here. Now, to actually be visiting these rooms and keep track of all the keys, we're going to have a stack called keys is equal to new stack. Um, so we'll have a stack of integers called keys because uh, each key is an integer representing the index of the next room you can visit. And keys will add zero immediately because we can already visit zero. And then we'll do, this is like a lot of problems, while keys is not empty, while the stack is not empty, we're going to pop the current key, just like a lot of these stack problems, uh, current key is equal to keys.pop. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is access, we're going to take the current key from the stack. So in room zero, we'd find uh, one. So we'd be able to access, now we're going to access room one, which is going to have the keys of room two. So we're going to access room one. So um, for int uh, new key in we're going to loop through the keys in the new room that we can access. So in rooms.get, so we're accessing, we're taking that key, we're accessing right here rooms.get the new room, and we're looping through all the keys in the new room. So we would find two in the next one in that case. And we're going to take that new key, and if we haven't seen it, if uh, we haven't seen the room already we f we're looping through the new keys so we find some new keys and if this um if these new keys unlock a room we haven't seen yet we'll mark that new the room as seen now 
because we have the key to unlock it so we can mark it as seen and then we'll add that key to the stack because we're going to have to keep going. So it's kind of thinking one step ahead. It might take a second to wrap your mind around that. It's kind of, This looping is kind of thinking like a little bit one step of head. It's like a one step ahead kind of trick. Uh, keys dot add um, new key. So you just got to kind of sit there, take it in and conceptualize it. This loop is probably the hardest part to understand. You find, so once again, we just, we, and hold, let's see if this runs uh, first try. Yep, so we got it running first try. Uh, hopefully I did a good job of explaining that. We have the scene Boolean array that the first element, the first element of that is going to be true. The rest are going to be false. It's the same size as the rooms. So as we loop through, we're visiting the rooms and we're updating the scene Boolean array so that all of them will be true by the end. If they're not, we haven't visited all the rooms and we return false. Uh, that concept, I think you guys will understand real easily. Otherwise, we have a stack of keys. And as we visit these rooms, we keep adding keys onto the stack. And then as we loop through, we pop the keys off the stack because these are keys to rooms we're hopefully not, we haven't visited yet. We pop keys off the stack. We check if we have visited the rooms that the keys unlock already. And if we haven't, we, have, we find the new keys and we add those onto the stack. And we also mark the new uh, rooms visited that we unlocked. So, you know, I tried as best as I could to explain this one. It's a little tricky because it is thinking kind of one step ahead. But uh, thank you guys for watching it. Just take a second and kind of like breathe this little while loop in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's a cool problem. I like when they have like kind of little uh, mystery puzzle, mysterious problems like this. So thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, check out the other ones if you need help. See ya.